they don't work, um, you're not supposed to throw them like that. Plus, like, what are you gonna do with it? Like, what's gonna happen to them after? I don't know, can you tell me something about it? Of course we can, that's what we made a presentation about. So we have designed this app that not only can help this guy who dropped his phone, but everyone um, that has a device laying around that has a uh, laptop that they don't need anymore, or a tablet that maybe it's just not working right, right? And then um, those can be recycled, can be, or if it's not working, it can be supposed to work, right? Um, this, This is what happens when you dispose, you don't dispose your, your electronics correctly. By the way, this is here in Canada, so just keep in mind. Yeah, so first of all, we have to understand what the problem is and uh, what the problem behind this and why consumers are not using proper e-way systems to, first of all, dispose of as well as recycle. So first of all, E-waste compromises up to 70% of the overall toxic waste. And about 40 million tons of e-waste is thrown away every year. This means that only 12.5% of e-waste is actually recycled. This is a really alarming situation, and I think of different chemicals in e-waste, such as lead, mercury, and catamount, can really pollute soils, water supplies, as well as food sources. So this is why we're here to tackle the problem. Okay, so now that we know the problem, tell me, raise your hand, whoever has a app. So uh, this is a story. So first of all, we have is Billy here, and Billy is an average day consumer who lives in Toronto, and he has, he, one day he was cleaning up devices from his house and he found three or four phones, one laptop, and one computer that he doesn't use, which was taking up space in his house. So basically, he just decided to throw it in the garbage. And this is a big, big no, no, because it is a big problem and it can pollute the environment. So this is what we want to stop and this is what we want to tackle. And this is what we have learned that many consumers do the exact same thing. Okay, now that we know the problem, raise your hand if you have one of these at your home. Okay, now tell me, do you know how to dispose of this? Okay, that's why we are here. So, because, don't worry, we got a solution. Our solution is to inform people, because most of people are not, uh, are not being... Uh, no, we need to incentivize people. Because most people don't know the, the, how complicated is this problem. Uh, so our plan is to make a system where you can where you can gain prices for recycling with us. So how will it work? So we have an app which will help us uh, locate different e-waste disposable centers as well as. Uh, how we can actually introduce different locations such as everyday consumers using grocery stores or maybe condominiums, which will actually cater a large population. And here we just created a map where it shows everyday consumers how you can locate the e-way centers and it's really accessible for them. Yeah, so also a big problem with the e-ways and materials is that people just don't know how to do it or how to dispose their files correctly. Most of them, when they throw away their phone, they don't even clean their data out, out of their phones, and they just throw it away, which can be very bad first for the environment, and second, very bad for, for their safety, because a lot of them, a lot of people grab those phones that are thrown away and keep it and take the data out and then sell it online. Um, also, our system will therefore create prices to the people who recycle with us with the form of points. Now, this will also work for coordinating our app with other e-waste disposal centers and sponsors, uh, so that every time you recycle, you will guarantee to have points. Um, okay, so this is our prototype. So, 
Uh, at the bottom right, you can see our template for the after and Google Play. Uh, then at the top right, we can see the, the, the base logo. Then, this is our prototype of uh, how it will look our app. So, on the home page, you can ask questions like, what is a phone made of, or where, where is my nearest uh, disposal center? Uh, also, at the bottom left, we, you will see a map uh, with all our sponsors marked and the disposal centers. And the, the, you can buy merch, use phones, refurbished phones, and also sell your bad, uh, bad phones. And also, there's more info about us, uh, and also contact us. Yeah. So first of all, we have to understand the market and uh, who are actually in need of this problem. So first of all, we interviewed many of the people and what our results came out are that millennials are the people who have around more devices compared to any of the other age groups. This means that they have around three or four phones lying around that they need to dispose of and we actually asked them, have you disposed them or how do you know information? So what they said was that they don't have information and they would be willing if it's more accessible for the consumer. So what we're trying to do is make it more accessible for everyone. Okay, so now our mission is to be one of the main uh, eco-friendly company uh, in Canada. Uh, meaning, what I mean by that is uh, Company, one of the main companies that recycle. Does this work? Okay. Great. So our our company is expecting to see major results in the first six months of the app being launched. Looking forward to one percent of increase of total Canadian e-waste recycling to be through our app each year. This would be a uh, reality with the help of funding from third-party sources. We could get cheap by donators, investors, and sponsors then we can, we can deal with the government, that would make us so much better. So market, so these are the devices that are getting disposed of or people have to dispose of, and that's just a fun fact. Okay, so our business model and how we can actually make money, and because all of this will actually require a lot of money. So first of all, uh, government grants, uh, the government is really supporting sustainability and the causes for climate change. So for sustainability, they're willing to give a $10,000 to $45,000 grant so you can start off your business and actually uh, do whatever is necessary. For example, for us is to set up uh, eco-waste uh, disposals and uh, how uh, consumers can actually dispose of it as well as um, Second way of revenue would be companies and how we can use all of the waste and combine it for materials such as sustainable materials that companies can buy, which can also give a benefit to company because more consumers are looking to buy sustainable products rather than something that is not sustainable. So our competitive edge, so first of all, we can have more locations better market reads so there's more information out in the market to dispose, as well as there's more information for the average day consumer. Well, now you may ask, who, co who can collaborate with us? So the e-waste disposal centers that we're targeting are the ERI, the Canada, Canada Iron, and the ERA.ca. Also, the stores for the prices of people who recycle with us could include Walmart, Tim Hortons, Costco, and Home Foods. Thank you. Thank you. A lot of the enthusiasm of the presentation, appreciate the little call outs that I could divide. Uh, it's a great job. Um, a lot of piece of feedback just for pretty much everyone in the room that could just benefit you in the future since there was a mic problem in the future I would just go with it continue put it on the side and just continue with a louder voice or just pretend it's still on 
because it look, AP looked very cool. They do too. Um, so in terms of uh, the millennials, I'm curious if this is the, the data on this. Is this someone you interview? If so, who and how many people did you interview? Um, or is this a primary data or secondary? Yeah, so first of all, we put out a, we interviewed around 10 millennials, and from there we gathered some data, and most of them worked in the tech industry in tech firms. Okay, and so when, when you say like partnerships, for example, with uh, Whole Foods, et cetera, what does that look like? You take me through the customer journey. So if I'm a millennial, I have my phone, uh, you know, there's some data on it. What, what does that look like? How do it, why is Whole Foods involved? Else okay, so what you do is you uh, you uh, go with your phone, you give it to us for us to recycle and take the materials apart and all that. So then you can get points. With those points, you can uh, get uh, coupons for stuff in these uh, brands. So you can buy stuff and all of it. Can I, can I ask a question just as you're going through that? Because it was connected to what Lynn was saying. So your business, um, you had this app, and I'm, I'm the sole one out of this team to get things, so you gotta go slow for me. The millennial uses your app, figures out where the eco center is, but that's not you, right? They go to one of the eco centers, and they drop off this piece of equipment? Yeah. Uh, Just yes or no? Yes. Good. How do you get it? We don't exactly get it. Okay, so you don't get it. So how do you clean it? You say you clean it. So what we do is that we collaborate with uh, other companies of e-waste disposal. Uh, so we basically just do like the the connections, people with the company. So that's it. I was just wanting to confirm that in my mind. I wasn't clear yet. So you don't touch this at all. Yeah. You just provide the way to connect everybody. Yeah, so there's more information. OK, love it. Uh, so thank you for clarifying that for me. The other thing I was wondering is when you said that there are, what was the amount of total waste? The waste would be, you said 40 tons. billion tons. That is 40 million tons. 40 million tons, that's it. So is that where in Canada? That is only in Canada, okay. Okay. correct. 40 million tons uh, being disposed of by millennials? No, uh, the whole age group. The whole, all, all around, all ages. All ages. So have you accounted for corporate waste? This is including corporate waste, the smoker. Okay, yeah. So corporate waste plus personal people waste, of which personal part is millennial, yes. the total is 40 million. Yes. And you've done numbers to understand that the millennials are the largest disposal? Yes, because they buy the most devices and they have most devices laying around. So in your opinion, millennials buy more than companies? No, companies would come definitely above millennials. Okay. That's why we interview uh, millennials in the tech industry. Okay, thank you. Herbie, how are you? That's good. Great presentation, I love it. I think what I like the color, yeah, the color. The bottom presentation said great color. Uh, one thing I think is obvious, you guys have identified a, a big problem, and it deserves to be solved. I still don't think you figured out how to even make money yet, though. Uh, part of the goal of business is to go figure out a way to make money. Uh, a couple of just quick suggestions. One is, there's these boxes in various places where you can go deposit your glasses, and they send the money uh, from the glasses that you deposit into uh, other countries to make glasses for them. The secret that nobody knows is most of the glasses get thrown out. There's gold and silver on some of the glasses, they melt it all down, and they use that money to make glasses and send that to other countries. So there might be actually metals, other things that you could get back out of the electronics that would help pay for this. And you could probably identify that, and there could be a business model there. The second is, there's a great business model that just started, which is renting a dog. I just saw this happen in uh, SPCAs, where you can go into the SPCA and rent a dog for five bucks, to walk around and go on a date or whatever and take the dog back, right? Which is great, you don't want to have a dog for long term. Well, you've identified another problem, which is a security problem. 
why don't you solve a security problem by having people pay five bucks to have a, their, their laptop and cell phone uh, appropriately cleaned or scrubbed, which you guys would do by simply taking the hard drive out and hitting it with a head mark a couple of times or something to that effect. And then not get all the gold out, and now you've got all of that benefit. So you created a huge virtuous cycle. So yeah, you guys, I don't think you've got all these different ideas of where you could make money, but not yet identify where the money is. Does that make sense? For sure. Great, sense. Great, 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 great